there's this separation anxiety that we have because we've known people for so many years or they've been a part of our life for so long. All of a sudden we decide to step up to do what we want to do and people don't like that. They want you to stay the same. Conformity is the death of your dreams. Where you step out of conformity and you go, no, I'm going to conform to fucking growth. I'm going to conform to being a better version of myself. I'm going to conform to what I believe in and what I think is right for me. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another opportunity to grow. Another episode on the Luke Mind Power podcast. It's amazing to be here with you guys. Please do not let self doubt and your fear to control you. Now, it is a process and it's something that you have to deal with every single day, especially when you're trying to grow and when you're trying to become a better version of yourself, you're trying to do something you've never done before. There's going to be a lot of resistance in your mind. Okay, give yourself a chance and be kind with yourself. You know, when you're growing and you're trying to do things better or manifest your dreams, right? It's not supposed to be easy. Just remember that. Don't be so hard on yourself. We are very, very critical of ourselves. But again, everything is a reflection of your past. You're a product of your past. Everything that you've been through in your life over the last freaking 10, 20, 30, whatever it was, however long you've been alive, you are that because of those experiences, because of the conditioning, because of the information, because of the way that you were parented, because of the way that people spoke to you, because of the relationships that you've held on to, because of the information that you've taken on. So all of these experiences and situations and 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 your upbringing and your environment has created the way that your mind now thinks subconscious mind so it's up to you to pay attention to that and just be aware of it because remember the ego is either in the future or in the past and you've got to remind yourself every freaking time come back to the present moment come back to the now because really like we said before there is no present moment where we're constantly transitioning from the past to the future time doesn't stop it's a continuation what are the next steps what's coming up for you what are you feeling what are your thoughts your thoughts are always going to resist the possibility of anything that you're manifesting that hasn't manifested in reality reality yet your mind is going to go well it hasn't happened yet and you're like yeah but that's why i'm taking action that's why i'm here that's why in order for me to manifest what i want i've got to take action in the now in here, for many, many years for myself, fear did control me. Fear was in my way. And really, it was the way that I thought about myself and the way that my mind was functioning that really held me back. It didn't allow me to feel confident in myself. Just again, where did all that come from? You know, I saw some photos. My, my, my sister sent me some photos on WhatsApp in our family group chat and sent me some photos of me when I was fucking 19. And the first thing I said, I, was, I looked at the photo and I go, and I wrote back and I said, eat some more food and put some, some um, put, yeah, eat some more food and so you can put some meat on those bones. Because that's what everyone used to say to me. Because you, I can see it clearly. It's clear as daylight. You want to know where my insecurities came from? From my physical appearance. From people judging me. So people judging me is defining me and what I went through to feel what people were judging me with and how that was making me feel made me feel like I wasn't good enough, made me feel that I wasn't confident in myself because it was I was always being judged. The purpose of becoming an extraordinary person, the purpose of like finding your passion and living your best life, being a leader, stepping into your success and your greatness is not about having this fear of public speaking. It's nothing to do with fucking public speaking. It's about you being able to own your fucking story, being able to express yourself, not being able to fucking con let be controlled by the world. You guys wonder where my passion comes from. It comes from all the judgment. It comes from fucking people judging me all the time, giving me their fucking opinions about how I look. And me being a young boy, not knowing how to fucking defend myself. So I was being pricked all the freaking time. Does that make sense? Are you hearing me? So why did I create a speaking program? I didn't create a speaking program. Yeah, of course, it does turn you into an extraordinary speaker. But it's to fucking overcome this fear of being seen. The fear of judgment. And I'll tell you straight away, guys, you're interested in learning more about this program because it's what changed my life. 
All you got to do is click the link in the description below. And take action and fucking do it. It'll save your life. It's the best thing you can ever fucking do in your life. It's not just about becoming a leader. It's not just about owning your story. It's not just about developing communication skills and learning to love yourself and appreciate yourself. It's not just about that. But it's about your relationships in your life. If you don't develop good communication skills, a good level of self-awareness, a good level of self-confidence, you will get eaten. The world will fucking eat you. And you'll keep drowning in your sorrows. You'll keep fucking living a shit life, feeling insecure, feeling like the world is fucking against you until you step up and use the gift that God gave you, which is your fucking voice. We started by talking about fear. Where does fear come from? Well, if you're constantly being judged all the time, being ridiculed, being bullied, being called names all the time, then you're fucking physically abused as well. How the fuck do you think you're going to grow up? Do you think you're going to grow up feeling absolutely amazing? Oh, yes. I'm going to go live out my dreams, but I feel like shit and I don't believe in myself. Oh, yeah. I'm going to become successful. Fuck off, man. It doesn't work like that. Your mind gets conditioned so fucking shit. And then when your shit mind is like the way that it is, you become fucking shit. You become what you think. You think you're fucking shit. You think you're ugly. You think you're not enough. You think that you're too skinny. You're too lanky. You're being fucking pro programmed and conditioned because of people bullying you all the time or you're getting abused all the time. Well, obviously, you're a worthless piece of shit. So if you're a worthless piece of shit and that's what people are telling you all your fucking life, what happens? You grow up, you evolve, and you feel like that. You don't get up and go, I'm going to fucking live my dreams. I'm going to fucking do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to surround myself with amazing people, I'm going to go take action, I'm going to overcome my fears, I'm going to get out of my comfort zone, I'm going to start my own business, I'm going to fucking do, travel the world. Why would you do that? You're not going to do that if you feel like crap. Everything is internal. You feel really crap inside. You ain't doing shit, mate. You'll be on fucking antidepressants taking fucking drugs for the rest of your life. This is the struggle, ladies and gentlemen. Where does it come from? It's in your mind, but where did it come from before it got into your mind? Fucking generational trauma, the way you were fucking parented, the parents' problems, the issues they had, the way they were parented. It's about time you stepped up, man, because you've been playing fucking small for too long. It's about time you paid attention to what I'm speaking about in this podcast. And if this is the first podcast you've listened to, go back and start at number one. Because an abundance of podcast episodes for you to actually listen to so you can understand what the fuck is going on in this world. Because if you don't snap out of it and you stay in your head, you're fucking dead, man. You ain't growing. You're just living and you're waiting for fucking death. You want to get some juice out of this fucking life, man. You want to squeeze it all out. There's so much greatness in you that you don't even know about yet because you haven't stepped into your power. You haven't said yes yet. You haven't learned to love yourself yet. You haven't learned to fucking use your pain into your power and let it drive you. Let it motivate you. Let it fucking force you to step up and level up every fucking day. Pay attention to how you were parented. Pay attention to the relationships that you've been in. Pay attention to how people treated you. Pay attention to how the fuck they were treating you and then go deeper there and you'll see, wow, if they're fucking treating me like shit, they must have been treated like shit too. And if the, the, if the people that treated them like shit, why were they treating them like shit? Well, they might, must have been treated like shit as well. Wow, so this goes back and back and back and it's up to you to say it stops with fucking me. It's up to you, man, because ain't shit going to change unless you change. You can be a product of your past or you can be a product of your fucking choices that you decide today and you go, you know what? Enough. I'm in control now. I'm taking my fucking mind back. I'm taking my power back. I'm reprogramming my mind. My mind may be living in the past because of all the shit I went through, but from today onwards, I'm the one that reprograms it. I'm the one that's in control. Not your parents, not your grandparents, not your fucking great-grandparents. Not the shit that they went back through fucking in the 1900s, 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, all the shit that was going on around that time. And some of us are still living in this perpetual state of suffering, in this vicious fucking cycle, continuously, not knowing, why the fuck am I not changing? Why am I hurting? Why am I living in so much fear? Why am I so traumatized? Why am I not stepping up into my greatness? Ask yourself, man, this is your responsibility. That's your fucking job. I'm just here to wake you up, man, for you to look deeper. Because ain't shit happened from nowhere. You don't start living in fear and doubt and insecurity and not feeling good enough just fucking because you were born. 
Let's take a deep breath and just feel the energy. You are powerful beyond belief. No one has the power to control you. There's nothing like this reality that you're living right now where you are being called to wake up to your greatness because you are phenomenal, you are brilliant, you are beautiful. There's no one else out there like you. And it's time that you stop doubting yourself, man. It's time that you became aware of how your mind has been conditioned because of the past experiences that you've gone through. And it's okay to not be where you want to be. It's okay to not feel the way you want to feel. What's not okay is for you to continue to be against yourself. We've had enough of that shit, man. Enough of being against yourself. Enough of not being aware that you are psychologically screwed from the past. Okay, that's the truth. Let the truth behold. This is the truth. Okay, full, cool. What kind of steps am I going to take now? What, what's my action plan? It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be damn worth it. Time doesn't care about you. It will keep going. Are you going to go with it? Are you going to use it? Take advantage of your gift of who it is that you are. Get out of the system. Okay? Because the system has been created to ruin and destroy you. And you have to fight back. So be conscious of what it is that you feed your mind and how you water yourself, how you plant, what you plant in your mind. Because you've always had the power. You just weren't aware. And you had to go through the journey that you've gone through so far. I love what Les Brown says. He says, known hells are preferable to strange heavens because it's familiar. Known hells are preferable to strange. Be we would rather stay in a shit place because it's comfortable than to go through a strange experience, an unfamiliar experience, an out of our comfort zone experience to then get to heaven. You have the power to create heaven on earth, but are you willing to get out of your comfort zone? Are you willing to change? Are you willing to reprogram your mind? Are you willing to have your own back? Are you willing to show up for yourself? Are you willing to become your own best friend? Because that's what's required. Are you willing to realize that no one is going to help you get to where you need to be? You've got to step up, stand up, and own it. You've got to own your story, man, or you will be eaten alive for the rest of your life because of the past. You see, every single day we have a choice. Am I going to allow the circumstances that I have been through to dictate how I manifest my future, how I show up in my everyday life, or Am I going to look and reflect and say, okay, I made some bad choices. Okay, I've been in some unhealthy relationships. Okay, uh, maybe the people that I'm surrounding myself with right now that, I, that I'm connected with are not really going in the same direction as where I'd like to go. You've got to have a look at that because all of that is, is, is either lifting you up, inspiring you, encouraging you, complimenting your life, or it's not. I was, just, I was on a call with one of my, my clients. And I even sent a message to Danilo, my best friend, today. And I said the same thing. I said, man, now that we've grown so much and here I am living my best life, living my dream, doing what I love, getting paid for it, helping people. I'm sitting here in this moment and I'm like, shit, man, I did this. I created this. I didn't know I could do this. I created a space where, and that's why I was just, I was just reflecting on, on what, how I've helped my family, because as you guys know, I've mentioned to you guys that, you know, two of my sisters work with me 
And I was like, wow, like I've created employment for them. I've created a space where they can work, a flexible space, you know, where they manage their hours and they work from wherever they want. And how much like peace I've brought to them because of being able to do that. That's amazing, you know? And so it brings me back to gratitude and to the, to the now, to the reality, you know, right now of like, what is life and, and what have you done? And it's like, oh my goodness, like we're always focusing on what we don't have and not reflecting enough on what we've achieved and who we are and what we've come through and what we've, what we've had to persevere through, but also being able to know like when you make progress, because like I look at it now and I'm like, shit, look how much I've grown. And I'm like, where will I be in four years time? And I'm like, wow, yeah, I, I already know. And it's the same thing for you. Once you make a little bit of progress, you know, whether it's a month or two months or three months, you need to look at that and, and realize that if I can do that, if I can make progress, progress equals happiness. And that's the most important thing about life. Keep making progress. You know, detach yourself from this constant like, I'm impatient. I haven't got what I want. I'm impatient. I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting frustrated because I don't have what, what I want. But I'm telling you, if you keep going on the journey of growth, developing yourself, whatever it is, starting your business, learning to love yourself, becoming a better version of yourself, going through a journey of more self-discovery, self-reflection, introspection, like letting go of things that drain you or, or don't complement your life, anything that disturbs your peace, as I mentioned in one of my last trainings I did in the Dream Chasers, you know, if, if something disturbs your peace, fuck it off. Spiridale. For real. You know, it, it, it's, it's your peace is your power. Like anything that disturbs your peace shouldn't be in your life. And it's up to you to grow self-love and connection with yourself. With that connection with yourself, you have the courage to, to do what's right for you. I always say, when you love yourself, you'll do what's right for you when you feel guilty as well. When you, when you feel guilty, you'll still do what's right for you because you love yourself so much. You know, you'll speak your truth because when you have to do what's right for you, that means you're going to have to have some uncomfortable conversations or do something that's uncomfortable because you're not used to it. You're used to being a people pleaser. You're used to saying yes to everyone and you're used to just conforming. Conformity is the death of your dreams where you step out of conformity and you go, no, I'm going to conform to fucking growth. I'm going to conform to being a better version of myself. I'm going to conform to what I believe in and what I think is right for me. There's this separation anxiety that we have because we've known people for so many years or they've been a part of our life for so long. And all of a sudden we decide to step up, step out, do, do what we want to do. And, and people don't like that. They, 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 they want you to stay the same. They're comfortable with that version of you that you are, that you've always been right. And it, it's a convenience for them to always have you around, but your greatness cannot be dimmed you have so much power within you that it, it has to expand and shine. And when that happens, what happens is you, you, you have to separate yourself from the darkness or anything that isn't helping you evolve. You know, and that's why I say evolve or repeat. You keep repeating the same way of thinking, being, same people you're surrounded by, or you evolve. Like I did a recent uh, podcast episode with an extraordinary uh, person. Her name is Esther. And we we're talking about relationships. And I was just posting something on my Instagram. And I was saying, you know, when you grow, a lot of us are like, you know, we want to attract healthy relationships. We want to attract healthy people into our life. We want to, and when I say healthy, what do I mean by that? I mean like positive people. I want like people who are action takers, people who are successful, people who are growing, people who complement your life. They actually add value to your life. Instead of draining your energy, they bring you up. You know, they, they have something to bring to the table. You know, so what, what happens when you evolve and you grow and you're ready for that shit, you start to attract like-minded people. You start to attract people who are on your frequency. And so I was able to continue to evolve. And so was Esther. And then all of a sudden, boom, we connected. And then it was like, oh my God, I love your energy. You're fucking amazing. Come on my podcast. And she's like, I'd love to be on your podcast. That wouldn't have worked three years ago, for example, because I was on a different level. So was she. But what happened? I kept growing. I kept growing. I kept growing. She kept growing. She kept growing. She kept doing her thing. And then it aligned. You haven't met all the people that are going to love you yet because you haven't grown. If you're not in a relationship, for example, right, intimate relationship, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, kind of, you know, a relationship, 
if you're yearning for that partner, if you want to attract that person into your life, guess what? You haven't attracted them yet because you've got work to do. If you're in an unhealthy relationship, that means you need to fuck it off because it's disturbing your peace first and foremost. Yeah, you can do your best. I say if you're in a marriage and it's fucking toxic or manipulative or shit, I say if you want to save it, I said do your best. Sit down, talk about it, say, hey, we need to fix some shit. Uh, and there's a timeline, six months. We've come this far. I'm, re I'm willing to make effort. Let's put together a plan and let's fucking try and change. Let's do therapy. Let's communicate more. Let's try and work this out. Whatever. You have to have a level that you get to that's a threshold where you go, nothing's changing. It's time for me to leave. It's time. For, nothing's changing. It's time for me to move on. Because actions speak louder than words. The, 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 the only apology is change behavior. It's not fucking, oh, I'm so sorry. I did, I'm so sorry I did that. I'm so sorry it happened again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Fuck your sorries, man. The best apology is change behavior. If you don't see that shit, it's time to go. Now, why am I saying this? Is because every level of your life, there are lessons that you need to learn. And some people, they just come into your life just to teach you something that you needed to learn more about for yourself. Some people come into your life just to hurt you because you need that pain, because that pain is going to be your driving fuel and your motivation as to why you do attract a healthy relationship in the future, because you're going to become successful. And we don't know this in the moment, so we just continue to allow ourselves to, to, to suffer. But not appreciating the challenges that actually help you to grow. They build your character. You, got, you grow resilience through these experiences and you, real, you don't appreciate actually why I'm, I'm dealing with this circumstance right now. Why am I in this relationship? And so what I'm trying to remind you guys of is that if you're, for example, not in a relationship or you're single, for example, uh, there is somebody manifesting you out there, much like you could be manifesting someone as well. And they're on this frequency and you're on this frequency. And in order for you to attract them into your life, you have to evolve. You have to get to that level where the frequency is going to match and you're going to be like, oh my gosh. And it's going to feel so natural and flowing and loving and normal and comfortable and easy. You won't have to force it. So many people that I've connected with on my podcast, you know, and having people on my podcast and connecting with people through social media and people that I've met, you know, that are doing like-minded things. I attracted them into my life. If I didn't grow, I wouldn't be able to attract these people into my life. The law of attraction is very powerful. But I'm telling you, this is just a reminder. There is someone out there that's manifesting you. And they're hoping and praying that you don't give up. That you grow that you believe in yourself enough to know that you're going to put in the work, you're going to show up. These are the fruit. This is the fruit of your labor. This is the gift of the journey. Are you willing to take the journey? Are you willing to say yes? Are you willing to evolve? And if you're in a toxic relationship, are you willing to leave it to know that and believe that there is someone else out there better for you that's actually wishing and hoping for you to actually leave that relationship because they want to meet you? And they'll never get to meet you if you keep living in fear and doubt and not being self-aware enough to make some powerful decisions in your life that are going to benefit you in a positive way. Or are you just going to continue to have the bad energy in your life that's disturbing your peace all the time? Because being in a really dysfunctional state within your physical body is very hurtful. It doesn't help your body regulate itself. It's not comfortable. It's not a good vibration, hence why, you know, we feel depressed, we have a panic attacks, anxiety. Hence why peace is so beautiful. So I say fight for your peace. I say find it. I say if it's not where you are right now, that's a great freaking place to start, to feel it and to go, do I have my peace? Because if you don't, then it's time for you to take some action and make some choices and change. Okay? And one of the best ways you can freaking change is to come and hang around with me. Join my coaching program. Surround yourself with an amazing community and click the link in the description below. Join our Speak and Transform program. It's freaking powerful. It's amazing. It's going to change your life and it's going to help you to heal as well. But most importantly, help you to share your story and grow in confidence and you get to hang out with me once a month while we have our live coaching sessions. 
So anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time. Don't give up, man. I'm here with you all the way. And all you need to do if you want to join Speak and Transform and join me once a month live coaching on Zoom with all the other extraordinary transformers and speakers in this community is click the link in the description below and I'll catch you soon. All right. I'm sending you so much love, guys. Don't give up. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. If you're ready to grow and reach your full potential and find inner peace, send me a DM that says, I want inner peace, and I'll send you the next steps. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. When you change your mind, you change your whole life. So don't hesitate and send that DM over to me. Myself and my team can't wait to meet you and witness your transformation in full glory. See you next week.